Hello, this is Sashiko live streaming with Q&A today. I will answer your Sashiko questions if you have any. Um, as I mentioned in the Instagram, I will not share the technique itself. Like I will not share how to do Sashiko. To be fair with the students and those people who, to, who take my workshop, but Besides that, what kind of thread do I use? What kind of fabric do I use? Um, you may have some questions about Sashiko. I will answer the questions in the in this live streaming while I make another Sashiko stitching. So <coughs> please feel free to um, write down any questions. If it's kind of if it's too much, no, not too much. If it's overwrapping some of the workshop content and I just decided to not to share that I will just say I'm sorry that I'm not gonna share that today but pretty much everything else uh, I will introduce I will explain I will share my information my knowledge um, about the Sheko to answer your question questions I will do that today Monday night and Tuesday night tomorrow night and Wednesday night so three nights from 9 o'clock ish to 10 o'clock, 10 30 ish, to share what Sashiko is. I hope you will. Um, you have some questions so I can answer that. For those techniques, please refer to those videos which I have already. Um, I, I believe that you can get some information even without a workshop. Okay, let's do that. Oops, hello. This is a sushi. I want to make myself smaller a little bit. When I have to change my when I have to, when when I will answer the question, I will make my face bigger. I'm not a face bigger. I will make my screen bigger. I have a bit of neck pain today, so I might move my neck a lot. Oh, I'm going to just type everything here as a message. Um, just a second. This is the QMA live streaming.
so I may be a little quiet while I don't have any questions, but I will answer questions about Sashiko, um, about you know, this simple running switch. Unless it's not, like, I don't want to make it like a workshop. However, I will answer the questions about like the histories, my understanding, um, tools, like that. There's a reason that I don't want to kind of do the live streaming slash workshop. I want to make sure that everybody gets what I do. Without like you know, I want to check. I want to check if you got it. The technique I share. So for those like, specific techniques, I want to be. I want to have you. I want to have the participant, the students in my workshop. But everything else is. How are you? It's really difficult to make a stick while I talk, so it's one of those things that I'm saying. All right. Until the until the question, I will hide me. I don't want to be online for no specific reasons. I when I get the questions, I will answer that with my face on it.
Hello, thank you so much for the question. I will come back online. Hello, this is Atsushi. I will answer one by one. What will this become or how will I use this piece when you are finished? Um, this is a very, that's a very good question. This was really a trial uh, project for me. If the very like, reasonable fabric, cheap fabric, this is like $2 fabric swatch from Walmart. If that kind of fabric can be used in Tsushiko. The project is about like how can you get a good fabric for Tsushiko. Um, I usually prefer to have the Japanese fabric, but I wanted to use the I wanted to just try it. And it's kind of okay. It's not the best, but I can do it, right? So I think I'm doing this fine. After I finish this, I could use it for the handkerchief. Because both sides will look okay. Like I will I will clip the these thread tails later on and I will probably will not put the back fabric on it. I probably could use it to mend the denim because it's kind of thin yet strong fabric but after such cost stitching, so I could probably use it for the mending project. At the same time, I might just list list this fabric on Etsy or the other shopping to see how to see if somebody wants to have my stitching. So I I haven't usually when I do a project I do have the goal like the end product in my mind. Let's say coaster, tablecloth, tote bag. I usually have the idea of what it's gonna be like, but this time I had I didn't have any idea. I just wanted to try if the two dollar fabric from Walmart would be good or good enough for sashiko stitching. The answer is mm, okay. It's not the best, but you know you don't want to spend tons of fortune to get a Japanese fabric. I recommend it's it's really good, but. At the same time, the fabric from anything is fine. However, I re strongly recommend to have a good thread. That's from the previous video too, but... I hope I, uh, I hope I answered the question. Do I ship my product to Canada? Yes, we do. Um, some of the thread might be shipped out from Japan, but I think I can do that from the US too. Uh, I will please give me the like you can place the order and I can adjust the shipping if it's too much or if it's, but I'm not gonna take more than what the website says so flat rate shipping it might be from Japan it might be from the US but I have done that before so it should be possible So my goal of my goal or my purpose of this video Q and A question and answer video is not a video. Live streaming is to answer some of your questions, such questions. Um, it is kind of difficult to find a good resource about Sashiko stitching. So you might have some questions about certain things or certain fabric, certain thread, blah blah blah. I try to provide as much information as possible on my website, upcyclestitches.com, also on this YouTube channel. But at the same time, it is good to have somebody on live to ask and to get answers from. So this is that. This is the live call. God, my English is a little bit slow today. It's super hot. It's Kind of like old excuses, but all right. I hope I answer the questions. I will be off. It's kind of uncomfortable to make stitch with me on being online, so there we go. Thank you.
Oh, thank you for the questions. Uh, also, when I cut the threads on the wrong side, how close to clip them? Do they come undone? Nope. Um, I try. I after after lightly washing it. After you after I put this fabric into the water, I will probably clip as close as possible, so that you will not like the people will not easily see that which is front and which is back. Um, the, the question will be like, well, if I cut it so close, the stitch might be undone. Well, the trick is uh, by doing overlay stitching called kasane, K-A-S-A-N-A, -A, which I explain in my videos too. Overlay stitching, like reverse stitching, let's say as the machine stitch. By doing so, like right now, I'm doing right now. With this good thread, it will hold if you have few overlay stitches like that. So some book says that sashiko don't do make a knot to hold the thread. I mean, to hold the stitching. This is the technique you might want to learn. It was not that good. By making overlay stitches, you can the thread. I mean, the, sorry, the stitches will hold without making it undone. This fabric is not best for the kasane. So when when you want to have a good result with kasane overlay stitching, uh, the good fabric, good thick fabric, is very good idea. For kasane overlay stitching, I do believe that I have a blog post on my website, upcyclestitches.com. So please check that out. By the way, I'm not actually showing the textbook sashiko stitching right now because when you make a circles or curve stitch you shouldn't make this many stitches at once it, it's not good <laughs> but it's too slippery for me like the fabric is too slippery so i'm just doing kind of easy way job to
So right now I'm doing Kasamit again. Hello, ah, oh, hello. Thank you for coming, Shinobu san. Well, I usually have the live streaming either on Instagram or YouTube in Japanese, so. Thank you. That that's a very good question, Chinese. Um, the thread that I, I'm using is not the best and a bit thinner, so I don't trust my overlay. Kasane. It's K A S A N E, not I. Kasane. Very close enough. Uh, stitching very. Hmm. Do I do overlay stitching at the corners too? I really don't do the corners. Um, when I do make kasane overlay stitching is the time I will start and end the stitching. If I have to end the stitching because it's the end of the pat pattern, I do make kasane, but um, <laughs> I'm not a big fan of a kasane, so whenever I can avoid it, I will try to really, really avoid it. And Jene, Jene, Denise, I'm sorry, Janice got a really, really good point. In order to have a good kasane, you have to have the sashiko thread. Like, like that's kind of must. You can use any kind of thread for sashiko stitching. Embroidery floss is good. Anything, anything is good. But when you want to do kasane, make sure you get a Japanese uh, sashiko thread, not like it other embroidery thread or because um, the sashiko thread we use have the very specific twist in the thread so it's not just like regular thread it's the for example the thread I'm using using right now is the is consisted by full thin embroidery floss to make one thick rich thread so that full thread for the strand of full thread will make a good overlay stitches and then when it gets into the water it gets really really tangled together so it doesn't really show it it is the overlay stitching and it hold very nicely so make sure to have the good sashiko thread Hello, Nozomi-san. Thank, thank you so much for coming. It's about time that maybe some Japanese people might come. It's good, it's good. All good.
Keep the gasket. Hello, do I miss you? Yes, I did. Thank you so much for coming. You're kind of late though. 45 minutes late. Come on. I'm just kidding. It's pretty late here, so, you know, I'm not gonna do a lot tonight. But today is very much designed to be the Q&A session, so if you have any questions, please I'll ask, please ask the questions. I don't mind stopping my hand. I don't even mind showing my face. Pearl cotton, which I'm not too happy with. Yes, um, Janice, I recommend some of my Sashiko thread. You'll be amazed how easy Kasane become. <laughs> so I, I got a little, not a complaints, but I got a little questions um, throughout my YouTube videos. So I shared how to make Kasane and then viewers said like, well, I did everything you showed, but still the thread wasn't done. And then she was kind of upset because I kept saying like, it's okay. It's, it's, I mean, it's not gonna undone. If you make, let's say, two or three overlay stitches, if you make five, it's not gonna undone like, that easily. But according to her comments, that was undone, even though she made five stitches overlay kasane. Uh, it ended up with, we learned that she was using the kind of, I forgot the brand name, but it was not Sashiko thread. So if you use the thread, like random thread, Kasane might not work well. So, and that's kind of frustrating because, you know, Sashiko, it takes a lot of time by itself. And Kasane even takes more time. I mean, if you see the stitches get undone, I don't like that. So... Well, if you're gonna use the non sashiko thread, make sure to have the um, the knot. It's not wrong to have knot. I just don't follow that. Like traditionally speaking, Japanese sashiko didn't make a knot, so I follow that tradition. But there's nothing wrong with making knot. So. Stop my finger while checking the comments. Alright.
I'm using a knot when worked on multiple layers like them. That's a very good, um, that's a very good idea. That's a very good idea. I actually, when I make a knot, there's two patterns. One is the two thin layers. Sometimes two thin layers can be damaged by kasame, so I might I make a knot. And as the paper gasket said that it, if I work on the denim, then yes, I kind of make the knot to make sure that it doesn't go through. So it's like a fixing, mending, repairing project. Uh, knot is actually a good idea. The end product project reflects on the materials a person uses. Using higher quality product will get a better result. Very much indeed. Very much indeed. So... And we have been doing Sushiko more than, you know, my family has been doing that more than 50 years, I think. I don't know. Fully. Oops, I can't think of the ages. But my grandma's grandma was pretty famous in Sushiko, so it's a long time. So in those histories, um, we know what is the best for Sushiko. Because again, like Sushiko takes a lot of time. So if you're gonna take, if you're gonna invest that much time into that something, you should get something nicer. It's not like 10 minutes crafting, it's like 10 hours, it can be like hundreds of hours of crafting, so. And it's not that different, like the price is not that different. Unless it's hand-dyed, hand-dyed is a little expensive, but it's not that different. Janice, have a good dinner. Wow, it's not. It is this time for the West Coast people. We can't find the other time to do this. Thank you for the, a lot of comments. Thank you so much. I will come back about the same time tomorrow. So if you have any more questions, please ask me that. It's getting late here, so I will probably go off very soon, like 10 minutes, 15 more minutes so. Darlene, thank you so much for the com thank you so much for the comments. Um white thread must be traditional. It's what I'm used to seeing. Is colored thread more modern and artsy? Um the traditional is a kind of tricky word. Let me let me explain that with my hands. So Let 
is my subface. I'll explain it in one second. Okay, in order to answer the question from Darlene, I will show myself. Hello. Uh, hello, good evening. So, yes, white thread must be traditional. It is traditional. Um, back in Edo period, like when Samurai was around, indigo, natural indigo dye was the most popular coloring method in Japan. They didn't have that much technique to dye different colors. Like red is very red was very 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 ex expensive color back then, so people colored their cottons and stuff to indigo, which also had the bug repellent and also um, evil spirit repellent. repellent. They do it. So using the indigo dye thread plus white, uh, kind of unbleached. Like white, white, cotton white, was the very t traditional combination of sashiko. But like this, so this is the indigo dye fabric and the white thread. That was very really traditional way to do that. Um, over time, there's a lot of different kind of indigo dyes. So sometimes this kind of like nice lighter colors, thread, you know, lighter colors fabric with the indigo dye was also popular. That's also traditional, I would say. The color was, um, it is, yes, artsy and modern, but the same times I see some people doing that when, even before the um, World War II, like 100 years ago. But most of the colors are uh, chemical dyes. The colors we have right now is more like chemical dye. So for that matter, it is very modern, probably after Industrial Revolution or more. It's very modern. People still dyeing the thread to the well. People still dyeing the, their thread to the colors to have more decorative purpose, I think. So I'm not explaining well. So the sashiko has several purposes, right? Like repairing, strengthening the fabric, uh, warming the fabric, and then decoration. Those are kind of key purposes of sashiko stitching. So in order to make fabric stronger, uh, the color of the thread was not the biggest issue there. So they had an indigo dye fabric, and then they had a white thread, and they make really, really good combination. So that's how Japanese practiced back in then, and that became tradition. Um, when it gets to the more decorative purpose uh, later on, people started dyeing their thread to the with natural dye or chemical dyes, and that became very much modern. Yeah, modern and artsy. I kind of don't consider sashiko as the art yet. I'm still in between that, but it's. It's really nice to have a lot of colors on the fabric. Let me find some of the samples I made. I think I made some samples. Whew, I found it. So this is the color sample. We have 15 monocolored thread and also five variegated colored thread. Those are the like a, our standard collection of sashiko thread. They're all 
chemical dyed. Um, this is indigo dyed fabric, and I kind of stitched everywhere. Like this is the original white, bleached white, indigo blue, just blue, uh, light blue, yellow, light yellow, green, light green, and stuff like that. So those are more like a uh, very much decorative purpose. Yet this fabric became so thick and so strong. Mm, it's really really up to the yeah stitchers issue. I mean stitchers preferences. I like indigo and white, but uh, this is the kind of new colors we're having right now. Uh, some of the Japanese thread companies start making a nice, interesting pastel color sashiko thread. Uh, these are the pastel color sashiko thread. It's not straight, I'm sorry, but a purple. What was that called? I think a rose. I think this was like light yellow, bluish. So those are the new selection, and we have tons of uh, tons of kinds of natural dye sashiko thread which can be interesting on the on the dye fabric like this is natural dye sashiko thread this is actually dyed by indigo too so this indigo multiply indigo can be nice so Dar darling is very much correct um, the white thread and indigo fabric was and is tradition of sashiko Everything else is modern, yes, and also the variation from the sashiko. I don't know if it's called artsy, but the reason I don't call the artsy, art, artsy is that sashiko was very much the practice of uh, how can I say that? Let me put it in a different way. Sashiko was formed in their need. Art is something I... I don't think m many artists make their art in their need. So that's kind of like a... There's not... There's, I see a little bit of mismatch there that I cannot still I cannot yet call Sashiko art yet although I call myself Sashiko artist because there's no other way to call myself right now but I, I will get over it it's it's my personal stuff it is completely my personal stuff so I'll get over it I'm sorry like I, I hope I kind of answered the question But there's no such a thing right and wrong in Sashiko, so if you think it's really good to use the uh, colorful thread, go ahead. I'm all I'm gonna I'm all supporting you for that. <sighs> I really have to practice English again. It is not going well. Excuse me. I think there's going to be a big discussion what is Sashiko and what is not Sashiko. So I will not talk about it today, but uh, 
there's a lot of discussion about that, especially in English. I don't know why, but not many Japanese people care about what is sashiko and what is not sashiko. Not that they don't care, but they kind of know what is sashiko and what is not sashiko, even without saying it. But I think in the Western or in English, non Japanese understanding, uh, some of the stuff which is not clearly sashiko is recognized as sashiko, and that probably bring a lot of discussion. To the table. If it's printed, it's not sashiko. That, that, that's that's my like basic definition. Some people print the sashiko patterns, and then they call it sashiko. It is fine that they call sashiko printed, whatever. But if if it's not stitched, no, it's not. Okay, it has been one hour, so it's about time for me to go to sleep soon. So, I will come back about the same time tomorrow at 9 o'clock in Eastern Time. I live in uh, Pennsylvania, so it's the ET East Eastern Time, uh, New York Time. So, I will come back at 9 o'clock in Eastern Time, around 9 o'clock in Eastern Time. And I will have myself available to answer the questions again tomorrow. I do the live stream regularly, but sometimes I really don't talk. I just make stitches for the project, and that creates a kind of like atmosphere to not to welcome the questions. I usually am welcome the questions, but these three days I want to make sure that I have those opportunity for viewers to ask questions. Although most of the questions are already answered probably on my website, but it's good to have some. So I really appreciate those who are who asking the questions. Thank you. So I will be online tomorrow morning in Eastern Time. But that's the Japanese live streaming, so I will probably mainly, not a probably, I will be speaking only Japanese. <laughs> I can switch the language, but it's not that probably comfortable for you to listen because I keep, like, I keep speaking in Japanese. So I hope you can come back on tomorrow or Wednesday at 9 p.m. for more live streaming in Sashiko Stitching. Alright, let me finish this so you can take a look at my piece. Feel free to uh, con feel free to contact me through my website. If you have any questions, uh, just send it to me. I might be able to make tutorials. There's a lot of, there's a big list of things to do. So I might not just make the tutorials, but my goal is to share such things. So I will try my best to answer the questions either in the blog post or video.
Yes, darling. Thank you so much for the comment. Um, it is like natural, like very natural indigo dye fabric. Naturally, of course, natural indigo dye leaves dried that, uh, fermented in the natural way, has the bug repellent uh, function. It, like it works. Evil spirit? I don't know. That's how Japanese believe. Um, that's why they gave it to the babies and stuff like that. It's like a like wisdom. Does do, do you work at? Do you walk outside? A lot of bugs around you. I shouldn't even say that. Yeah, sorry. This is the result. Uh, I will do one more here, like smaller version of this here. It looks pretty good, right? Um, I can't. I don't believe it's only like a two dollars swatch from Walmart. I'm pretty satisfied. It, it's not that easy. I mean, it's not the best fabric to do sashiko on, but I can probably show that right now. It's doable. So. I will come back tomorrow about the same time. All right. <sighs> Wait, by the way, do you know how to draw the Shippo patterns? I'll show you now. It might be a good idea to do that. I have to do it anyway, so. Let's do it one more. Uh, what you need is one of those circle plate. I do sell that on my website too. But this is very neat plate. Like it's plastic, it's kind of, it's not like thick plastic. But by using this plate, you can make a circle very, very easily. And I actually am making the shippo pattern, how to draw shippo pattern. I do have the tutorials to make how to draw the asmoho patterns. So I'm working on the version where the this shippo patterns, but I'll just show you how now, so you might be able to do that by yourself. Whatever you need is pretty much just played, and that's it. So there's not much to talk about. Hello, hello. Hello. Thank you, Kozu-san. Yep, hello, because you were late. I know. She was late. <laughs> I'm so happy to see you guys like that together. It's so fun. Gosh, it would be so nice to hang out together one day. I'm in the US. Uh, the paper gasket is in... Malaysia? I'm sorry if I'm wrong. Malaysia? Singapore? Singapore. I mean, Asia. And everybody else in, in Japan. And we're talking about Sashiko together. 
everybody is in each place and but we share this one thing that interests me that's so cool and that's what that's that's what I want to do for the in Indonesia I'm sorry Indonesia 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 actually my friend my friend is living in Jakarta she got married to Indonesian and she moved to there. Hello. So many Japanese people coming. That's really nice. So like yeah, I like to make this kind of online live streaming as the community to share the sashiko stitching sometimes sashiko can be pretty lonely hobby to do it, it is really enjoyable but sometimes it, you know, it's after all it's just simple stitching so it can be pretty lonely but i just you know, that'd be great if we have like a place to gather together with our own project share some ideas inspired by somebody's so you know this is the power of internet this is the beauty of internet no matter where you are we can kind of connect together sorry for the noise nope it doesn't work this one uh, this one is the just charcoal white paper I got it from Amazon in the US. Uh, my favorite one is from Clover, but I'm currently out of stock. But any kind of chalk, pe chalk pencil is good. If you are in, I mean, if you if you live in the US, Amazon has. A uh, good chalk pencil. I think local local craft store art store has the chalk pencil too. So But chalk pencil is good. Like chalk pencil, just, just Google chalk pencil. Like, come on, like my my favorite brand is Prisma Color. I think it's Prisma Color. Prisma Color is the favorite brand. It's may I can I don't I have never seen that in the U.S. and I don't have it right now with me to share or show it to you. That's how, that's what we use. Like, my mother always used that. Okay, so it's not actual bug, it's about the. It's a buggy people, huh? The bugging people. Uh, you wear the kakishibu jacket without washing it. Because kakshiv has very, very unique smell. Not many people like that smell, so they might just go away. That's a joke, too. Thank you, Bangasa. Bangasa? Hey, paper gasket. Cozy is asking if 
you talk to you in English. I'll just speak Japanese a little bit. うん、あの、話しかけられたよ。遅かったねって。コトさん遅かったんだって。友達できたよ。コトちゃん、こっちでも人気。なるほどね。Kozu is apologizing that she cannot reply to you in English paper gasket. <laughs> sorry, sorry for laughing. No. It's my tab. This is my tab. Why now? Like, why after hour and a half many people gathering? Like, why now? I'm so sleepy that I have to go to sleep. Well, I'll come back tomorrow too. But thank you so much for coming. It's very interesting that. It was like two viewers. I don't know if you are here that if anybody's watching it from the beginning, thank you so much if you're there still. But there was only there were only two people watching it in the beginning. <laughs> yep, that's the part of the internet. All right, so this is how I draw the shippo patterns. I don't know if you got some of the ideas. I will make a video about that later on, so no worries about not getting it. But another question: Do I know if sashiko thread is color thread? Okay, do, do I know if sashiko thread is color first? I want to do some colored sashiko on white linen shirt, but don't want to ruin them once I put them in the wash. I do believe. I do believe. I cannot talk about the, I cannot talk on behalf of the other manufacturers. As long as the monocolor thread we have, synthetic dye, they are pretty color fast. I will double check with the other. Uh, actually, let me ask the Japanese people here. Question: Yes, ne. Sashiko ito te kiyon teki ni irochi shimasen yo ne kusaki zome igai wa. Sashiko ito de kusaki irochi suru ano kagaku zome no ito toka tsukatta koto attara oshite kudasai. Fukin toka ni tsukatte sono sashiko sashiko ito no iro ga fukin ni utsuru nante koto nai yo ne. Um. It is color f color fast. It's not gonna bleed. The color of the sashiko thread will not bleed as long as you use the thread I s provide on my website. Natural dye sashiko thread may bleed out a little bit of color, but I do believe that it's not gonna transfer to the linen or the other fabric because that requires the another uh, solution or another process to dye it. And we washed those natural dye so many times, but as long as it's synthetic dye, like 
you know, artificial dye. I have no experience. Um, Kozu in Japan, who has some sashiko experience using the sashiko thread, has no experience, like none, one, not one experience with the transferring the color to the fabric from the thread. So I can now, of course, talk about the other thread on behalf of their manufacturers. But as long as, as far as my thread goes, it is very color fast. I hope I answer that question. Thank you so much. Okay, I will speak one more Japanese. あ、ここさん。ペーパーガスケットさん、あの、小津ちゃんのライブとか Go ahead, like paper gasket, keep talking. I don't want to just finish this conversation between the viewers. That is so fascinating. Please, please keep doing that. So, the linen plus sashiko can be very beautiful, can be a little bit difficult to stitch, but it will be very beautiful. Why friend? Why friend? So that's what I want to kind of do online. Just talk about it, share the questions. Um, if I cannot find the answers, some of the friends in Japan will help me to find the questions. For example, um, my experience is very, very limited to what I use as the professional sashiko stitcher. So I have used, let's say, 100 colors of sashiko thread in my life so far. But there are Way, may, way more many sashiko thread available in the market. So I can talk about, I can speak on behalf of those 100 thread I've used, but I don't know if you use that thread. So, but my friends in Japan have used the, the other thread I have never used. So, yep, it's been 30C these past few weeks. It's hot. I know it's so hot here. It's super hot in the Pennsylvania too. It's not even 30. It's like was like 35. Like, what is it? Is it like 90, 95, 30, 60 or something? Oh, thank you so much for Namasan. I got a comment from the other uh, sashiko, sashiko, pra sashiko practitioner in Japan. She has one experience of color bleeding, color trans, color bleeding, not a transferring of one brand, but that was hand dyed sashiko thread. I don't know if it's a natural dye, but it was hand dyed um, that could. If you use the hand dyed sashiko thread, it could have the color problems. In fact, uh, some of the natural dyes that she got the red with, which my mother dye, has a bit of color fading after washing it. You can wash it in the washing machine, but after washing several times, the color will start fading a little by little. It's not like bleaching, but it will start fading. And she has no experience in the color problems with the other chemical synthetic dye, such so as thread. So it's it's pretty much color fast, I think. Hello, darling. Yeah, I'm still here. I know, I'm still here. 
I got a many viewers and they stood communicating each other so I just didn't want to finish it. But I will finish really soon. I'm tired. <laughs> And believe it or not, I will come back to the live streaming within 12 hours. The next live streaming is in Japanese. I only speak in Japanese there, so... Not only, but I mainly speak in Japanese. Then I will come back again at night tomorrow. So it's more like, this is like the week of live streaming. <gasps> the reason is... <laughs> well, I mean, I didn't plan to say this, but... Let me say it because I'm still awake. I do have a workshop this this week and this coming weekend, July 21st and 22nd in New York. There's a little bit of space, a few spaces, not a few, like four, four spaces available on Sunday, July 22nd workshop. If you live in New York, around the New York, if you know anybody who lives in New York and want to learn sashiko stitching, that's the kind of great place the great opportunity to consider so please share and pass this information around if possible that'd be so great i just learned that july is not a good time to offer the workshop in new york city many people are not in new york right now besides tourists so i usually don't struggle with advertising my workshop but this time is a little bit, little bit of difficult. Very awesome that it. Oh, that's one of the dream come true. Dream coming true. I make stitch, and then the people who watch my video or live streamings communicate to each other. That is what what's going on in Japanese. That's why I enjoy the Japanese live streaming. But. They stood communicating without you, even without me. And that's kind of nice, right? Like it's like a community. So it's very nice. Alright. I will come back tomorrow. I will come back tomorrow. Thank you so much for watching. I will come back tomorrow at 9 o'clock Eastern Time, around 9 o'clock Eastern Time. If you have any questions, please ask, please leave the comments here, or just contact me through the website, or Instagram, whatever, like, whatever, just to reach me, and I will talk about it, or I can make a video about it, but I will do my best to answer those questions. It was very helpful to receive so many questions. Thank you so much, and I'll see you tomorrow. I'll just keep stitching a little bit without speaking to just make sure that I didn't miss any comments because there's a little time lag while I'm making stitch and the YouTube. But thank you so much for watching. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Prepare your question. YouTube paper gas. YouTube paper gas. <laughs> oh, it's so funny. You're so funny. Thank you. Let me finish this much and I'll be gone.
tips. Thank you so much for watching. Um, I will continue this tomorrow as well. And I will continue answering your question too. ありがとうございました。えー、12時間後ぐらいかな。えー、また、次は日本語のワークショップ、ワークショップじゃない。日本語のライブストリーミングでお会いしましょう。それでは、おやすみなさい。ちょっと出てくる。バイバイ。